All right, now let me let me go straight into this. It's gonna be a part two of that uh load that was uh fourteen hundred for two hundred and they say two hundred and twenty two, but uh is in up two thirty eight. Uh, I finally understood what she was talking about as far as the mileage, because the the total mileage was probably. Uh, it was less than it was less than four hundred. It's about because two. I say that's uh, yeah, about close to four hundred. About three seventy five on that fourteen hundred for three seventy five, and uh, that four stopper that I was talking about. It the, the problem was uh, the second stop I helped unload. I tailgated that one. That one no problem. Now, I felt like I got sabotaged on the last stop because I thought it was only one one load you uh you tailgate. But she did say the last stop you got a tailgate. So I must have, I tailgated an extra load. Right. So that last stop, I'm telling y'all this. You know, I hauled furniture before. I tailgated furniture before. It was hell. Because you, you, you got to imagine... Uh, them big ass couches, you lifting them by yourself, right? Normally, it won't be a problem because uh, they posed ahead of couches sitting up. They had the couches laying down, and you got to prop it up and everything. I'm talking about, you know, you <laughs> half the damn trailers, half the trailer was uh, basically almost half the trailer was couches. And I thought I almost was done. And I finally got some boxes. After I feel it, the finally did that first few rows of couches. And like, well, I, these boxes go be they'll be now. I'm talking, they got some big boxes on there, boxes of furniture. Oh, because the boxes said anywhere it had a rate weight limit of anywhere from eighty pounds to two hundred and fifty pounds. That's how them boxes, you didn't know what you was getting. You, you, I didn't know what I was lifting. So I got those heavy boxes out. And when I finally could see, I still had probably about easily uh, 15 more couches. When I finally got them boxes done, and I'm like, oh, no. I about, I'm telling you, I about, I about quit. So I knew. <laughs> what I had to do. Your boy had to go in his pocket. Now I keep a bankroll. I got two of them workers. I gave them $50 a piece at the end of it. And they got just like that. They unloaded that truck just like that. Because they, they even knew what I was going through. Because cause truth is, on that low like a certain loads, big lots employees won't un won't on won't unload because it's too heavy, and big lots they get tired of the uh, workers' comps because they blow the couch is heavy, right? I'm talking about the heavy ones. They uh, what they do is uh, they make the driver unload that one, uh, tailgate that. So I gave hey, at the end of that they did they weren't expecting that fifty dollars. They just wanted to get out of there so they could go home or something like that. <laughs> I gave them that fifty dollars. It was, they, I made their day. The two guys gave fifty dollars a piece. But that I'm telling you, they sabotaged because those those couches are supposed to be uh sitting up. Though. I'm uh I'm out. I'm trying to look at the loads. Looking for loads. I'm looking at loads. Man, I'm trying. I'm a. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay near the house, you know, up and down, up the, you know, I try to do a little lane where I do, a, I go up the Richmond area or I go down uh, to Georgia area, South Carolina, even South Carolina, or Georgia area, then come back up just constantly, just keeping easy money, easy about a thousand dollars a day like that. I try to keep it around by 300 miles. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. This is your boy, G-Nut, and I'm out.